Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 95 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about cached transformation in mapping data flows. So, what is this cached transformation and how we can use this cached transformation? We are going to discuss this with a simple example now. So, this cached transformation will actually help you to easily modify the data types of the individual columns in your data flow. That means Let's assume you are getting some 10 columns or 2 columns. So whatever the columns you are getting as an input, to modify the data type of that columns, this cache transformation can be used very easily. Not only that, using this cache transformation, you can also enable a easy way to check the casting errors. That means if some column, let's say there is a column called column 1 and for some reason you are not able to uh, cast the data type of that columns, then that rows will be flagged as errors very easily. So let me show you this practically if it is not making sense at this moment. So let's go to Azure Data Factory. So I have already opened Azure Data Factory here. So this is called ADF Mahir and inside this data factory, let me create a new data flow here. And this data flow, if you closely observe, I have already enabled the data flow debug mode option. Why? Because I want to perform the data previews here so that you guys can make sense of it what is actually happening. So let's try to add a source transformation here and here let me try to select this employees.csv file. So if I open this data set here, this is actually pointing to employees.csv file and if I open this linked service of this data set, it is actually pointing to ADLS Mahir storage account. So let me go to ADLS Mahir storage account and inside that sample container and there is a folder called data folder, here I have employees.csv file. Let me open this file and let me show you the data in it here. So let me hit this edit tab, tab here and if you see this is the data I have in my employees file and if you see id column, name column, gender column, date of join column and salary columns. And if you closely observe date of join column is fine till here and till here but in the third row the date of join is actually not, in, not correct. And this is a csv file since it is a csv file the data type of the columns will by default come as a string only. So what I want, I want to convert this id column to integer and also I want to convert this salary column to integer and maybe I want to convert this data join column data type to date. So this is what I want to do. Let me do this practically. So let's go back to my data factory here and here let me go to the schema of the data set. Let me clear this schema and let me re-import this schema. Why? Because now my file has a different schema here. So let me cancel this. I want to import the schema from connection actually. So let me hit this and make sure so all the columns like id name gender date of joining salary all columns came perfectly good here so now let's go back to our data flow and here let me go to inspect tab i got all the columns and if you see the type of the columns everything is a string why because my data set is pointing to a csv file so let me go to data preview and let me hit this refresh button to see whether i am able to preview my source data properly or not great my data is coming properly here and if you see every column is a string now and how you can say you can see here you see this abc abc that means this column type is string only okay and not only that as i said you can go to inspect tab and you can see the data types of columns here as well so now let's try to use a cache transformation here and using this cache transformation i want to transform the data type of these columns id column to integer salary column to integer date of join column to date so let me try to do that. So let me go here, id column, I want to convert it as an integer. So let's select that and let's add another one. After id column, I want to convert maybe this uh, date of join column to date column. So since dates will be having some format, right, you can specify format as well. And if you see the data of my dates here, it is actually coming with the slashes like ddd, mm, yyy. And if you see uh, in my case, let's assume the first position, this is like a date and second position is month and last are year. So now I have, I have to specify that this is the format in which my dates are there as a string. So how to specify that format here? Here you can type the format or from the drop down if it is available you can select it. So I am selecting my date format type as well and let me add another uh, cache transfer, another cache setting for another column here and here this time let's try to select a salary column. This is salary column I want to convert also as a string column, sorry integer column. Now let me uncheck this asset type check for now, we will check this in just a bit. Let me go to inspect, now if you see id column became integer, date of join column became date, salary column become integer. 
Now if I go to data preview and if I try to refresh the data, let's see whether with the converted data types we are able to preview our data properly or not. And if you closely observe, if I go to source transformation, this date right for row number 3, this is not the correct date. So these two dates are correct, so they will convert as a date type columns values, but this value cannot be converted as a date, so this is going to give you null. So whenever you try to convert some data from one type to another type, if that data is not feasible for that confirmation, then in that case, you will be getting a null as a output. So let me go to cache transformation now. If you see the output result now, here we got a null. Why we got a null here? Because there is an incorrect data which cannot be converted as a date. So that is the reason you are getting a null here. Okay. So but otherwise, you can see all the data types are converted. If you see integer ID 1, 2, 3, that means it is an integer column. Salary as an integer column, date of join is a date column. Everything is looks good. Now let's go back to cache settings. And here I said there is something called asset type check. So what is this? If you hover it, it will make the rows where type casting fails with the error. So there is something called asset transformation in part 89th video, I think, where I discussed about asset transformation that will help you to flag if there is an uh, if there is any data quality issues or errors in the rows. Please watch that asset transformation video to get a more idea about what is this asset. Basically, this will help you to flag the incorrect data or to flag the data quality issues in your data. So, if I check this option, that means if there is any row in my data that is not performing the cache properly. For example, if you see the row number 3, here cache is not happening properly. Why? Because the data is incorrect. If you see the source, the data is itself is incorrect to, con to convert as a date column. So, that is the reason the conversion didn't happen. So that row, it can flag as an error now, since I have enabled this asset type check. Let me practically show you that now. So let's go back to data preview. Now let's try to refresh this data preview and understand the difference what it happens. So let's wait for the data preview to happen here. Great. So data preview happened. Now if you see the row number 3, got this flag. So this flag is coming because of this asset type check setting. This setting is making sure to flag the incorrect data with this errors. So any row if it has this flag then you can use is error function to identify this row. For this row is error function is going to give you true. Why? Because this row has this flag. We have discussed that in the asset transformation video as well. So because of that is row function capability to identify this asset failures we can actually split this data accordingly. We can say like these two rows are good rows because cached happened successfully and we, we want to sync that to some table or something, we can do it. And then we can flag this as an error row and then thereby maybe we want to uh, store this error row into some file or something, we can do that very easily. So how I can do that? So maybe I can use a conditional split here to split these good rows and bad rows. And then here I can use like good rows, the split name, first split name is good rows and second split name is maybe bad rows. And for the first split name, uh, here I can mention a condition. So as I said, the error rows will return true by using this is row is error function. So this function is going to return true for the row number 3. Why? Because their error is there. So what I will be using not true. If is row is not true, then that row mark it as a good row. Otherwise, mark it as a bad row. So now let's go to data preview and let's try to refresh and see whether the split is happening properly or not. You can see good rows and bad rows both are here. Let's wait for the data preview to happen here. Okay, now if you see the good rows, we get only good rows. There is no bad row. If I select a drop down of bad rows here, I will be getting the row number 3 as a bad row here. Why? Because the asset failure market as an error and we used is error function to identify it and split them. So after that, maybe since this is a good row, maybe I want to load it into some sync table and all. I can use a sync transformation and load it. And maybe here from here, maybe I can use another sync to load this bad data into some file or something. I can do that accordingly. So I hope you have seen my videos in the data factory playlist where I was explaining about sync transformation and all. So now, so I'm not going to implement this for now. The basic idea of this video is to get you familiar with the cached operation, which will help you to convert to data types of columns in your data flow. And also you can specify the formats also based upon the data available from your source. Like here I use the format for my date, why because in this format I have a data in my source and uh, I am telling to my data flow. So in this format if the date is there, convert that to into data format. Okay. So let's go back to our presentation. That's it in this video. 
होप नाउ यू गॉट एन आइडिया अबाउट व्हाट इज कैश ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड हाउ टू यूज इट एंड एवरीथिंग एज ए सेड प्लीज वॉच द असर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वीडियो एज वेल फॉर ए बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन वेन एवर आर वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच